and what we believe is a society of healthy communities where every person can achieve their highest potential for health and well-being. But we know that there are certain populations, particularly diverse, under-resourced populations and communities that have a lot of barriers to achieving health and well-being. And that's our mission. Our mission is leveling the playing field, removing the barriers. You know, you can't just focus on the physical and the mental health. You have to address all of the social, cultural, and economic factors that influence and impact the health of a person and the health of communities. And so um, we created the foundation so that we can lock arms with other public-private partners in the community to address those root cause issues. We were thrusted into the spotlight over two years ago when this pandemic hit. We decided we needed to step in the gap and take a meet me where I am approach and go to the neighborhoods, go to the people. This really um, put us into that um, area where we really needed to lock arms with public-private partners and create access to testing and vaccine and other support for, for diverse underserved communities. And, um, and that's what we've been doing for over two years. We're still doing it. I'm a servant leader. My parents really instilled in me the importance of serving the community and having a heart for the community. And Dime con quien andas y te diré quien eres. And that's so true with the work that we do around collaborating and partnering with others, you know, like-minded, passionate, purpose-driven leaders and organizations. And when you come together with a group like that, there is nothing that you can't accomplish. There is no barrier that you can't overcome. There is no idea that can be generated and um, impact is greater when you uh, lock arms and you come alongside others to do that work. That's where the heartbeat of the community is. You know, when families and neighbors and partners come together, we have a small team at the Equality Health Foundation. You know, we focus on reaching out and creating partnerships with other organizations and leaders that have a heart for the community and are passionate and dedicated to doing the hard work and going into the community. We've done this work in partnership with others, um, you know, and, and um, that's extremely important for the Equality Health Foundation. I'm accepting this award on behalf of the Equality Health Foundation, but on behalf of all of these wonderful partners that have been in the trenches with us and are still there with us. We're still in the community day in and day out, you know, serving people and trying to help protect them as much as we can and, and give them a pathway to uh, recovery and healing.